Google just released Nano Banana and it has officially killed Photoshop. Nano Banana is so good that even your grandma can be a world class designer right now. I'll cover what Nano Banana actually is, the use cases of Nano Banana, and how it has changed the image editing forever. Here's why this is such a big deal. With Nano Banana, it only costs $0.04 to generate something that would normally take a professional graphic designer hours or even days in Photoshop. But Nano Banana does it in 10 seconds. So during the next few weeks, you have a very good opportunity to build an AI app around this Nano Banana model. But after that, the competition will just move way too fast. So to make it extremely simple for you, I came up with four app ideas that you can start building using Nano Banana today. But before we jump into those, I just quickly want to see what's actually happening with the tool right now. Okay, so now let's put this thing to the test. So I'll just upload a selfie of myself and then I will say change the background so it looks like I am in let's do a rest restaurant also remove my glasses and then I just hit run now let's see how this turns out okay so here is the output it took 13 seconds and this is actually very interesting it still keeps the gaming chair as you can see here but other than that it looks pretty good so let's just try to remove that gaming chair replace the gaming chair with a chair that fits into the restaurant okay so now let's see it's not the same chairs exactly but it was able to change the chair at least but you can still see that i still look like the same exact person just without glasses it's pretty crazy that it's able to even do that and change the background pretty perfectly and all of this in just one prompt, which would have taken hours in Photoshop. Okay, so now let's try something a little bit harder. Let's try to remove someone from a picture. So again, I'll just upload a picture uh, of people right here. And then I'll say, remove the person all the way to the right. And let's see what happens. And in just 10 seconds, the guy on the right is completely removed. Okay, but that might have been a little bit easy to remove because people were spaced in between. So I'll try to upload an image of people more gathered together like this one. And then I'll just prompt remove the person all the way left at the bottom. Now let's see how this turns out. Okay, so that did not work. We can still see the girl right here. So I'll just try again and remove the person all the way to the left at the bottom. And now I actually got a safety warning. So I'll just prompt it, remove the person all the way to the left then instead. And there we go, now she actually got removed. That's pretty crazy. This girl might look a little bit weird, but it worked. Okay, so now let's test out interiors. So I'll upload an image of a empty kitchen right here. And now I'll just prompt something like create a kitchen island. Okay, interesting. So it kept how the kitchen already looked, but it just added this island right here and these chairs on the side. So on the right side here, I want to have this as storage space. So I'll just prompt replace the brown wall with storage space and then move the ovens to the left of the kitchen okay nice now the oven is on the left side and this seems like it's been remade to storage space so now let's just try something completely different let's prompt it make the kitchen extremely old okay so it made it look old but i don't think this looks very real to be honest at least it is able to do changes whilst keeping the same picture from the start. Okay, so now I want to see how it does on product mockups. So I'll upload an image of a blank soda can right here. And then I also want to add my logo uh, from my website to the soda can. So I just search up uh, build with AI and then I just upload the logo right here. And now I'll prompt it add the logo to the soda can. I'm very curious on how this is going to end up. Okay, so yeah, this looks almost realistic, but the problem here is that the can is white and the logo is white as well. So we need to, hmm, let's say, make the soda can black. All right, so here we have the build with AI soda can. <laughs> Nice. Okay, so now finally I will just test out some fun ones. So I'll upload an image of myself and then I will say show me as a The Simpsons character. And then I'll just run this. Okay, so this is how I would look like as a Simpsons character. 
So here's what I found out from testing. Nano Banana is insane for big edits like outfits, backgrounds, interiors, mockups, and style changes. But since it's AI, of course, it still has some problems like the aspect ratio. But once you know the limits, you can just build around them. This video is brought to you by Posthog, the all in one tool to understand and grow your app. With Posthog, you get product analytics, web analytics, session replays, heat maps, experimentation, surveys, LLM observability error tracking and more all in one place big companies like lovable and in level apps already use post hog to see what their users are doing to test new features safely and keep improving fast and the best part is that over 90% of people use post hog completely free because their plan resets every month and of course this is a tool I already use myself I only get sponsored by tools I genuinely love and use so if you're building an app and want real insights without juggling between 10 different tools head to go.posthog.com slash build with ai and just tell them that build with ai sent you so here are the four app ideas that you can go ahead and build right now with the nano banana model so the first app idea is an outfit and a background swapper look at this example right here all I did was just to upload a selfie and then I just prompted make it look like I'm in Hawaii and the AI literally one-shotted this image right here and as you can see there's no uncanny valley vibes this looks 100% real so here's a few niches that you can build for so for example job seekers wanting professional photos or people that are online shopping that want to test out how the clothing apparel looks on them so then the users basically just upload a full image of themselves and upload the clothing that they want to buy and then the AI will automatically just add that clothing apparel to the person so that they can get a full picture on how it will look like on them. So app idea number two is an interior redesign tool and this one is a gold mine for real estate and home design. Just imagine being a realtor who's going to list a home for sale but when you're going to take the picture instead of having to clean up the kitchen for example you just take a picture of the kitchen and have AI clean up everything and just make the picture look 10 times better. So who's actually going to pay for this well of course real estate agents who's staging homes for sale and maybe interior designers who's pitching new styles to clients or stores that sell home improvement products and want to showcase their products in different settings or basically just everyday homeowners who just want to see what their renovation would look like before they commit to it so here we have a bunch of different pricing models you can choose from you can choose business to consumer you can choose business to business for realtors architects or whatever Whatever, and depending on the market and the niche you can charge a lot of money for this so I would say the MVP for this app idea is to let people take a picture of their room they want to change and then let them prompt or even upload another image to change how the room looks and the previous AI tools spent like 40 seconds to generate something but this one spends anywhere from 5 to usually 15 seconds to generate something app idea number three is a photo bomber remover app so this is one of the ideas I went through earlier in the video so the MVP for this app would be upload an image and then choose which person you want to remove from the image and then the output is the exact same picture just without that person and the ideal users for this app is either travelers who want their Instagram shots clean or wedding photographers that want to deliver flawless albums and now the final app idea is a photo to 3d model converter so as we can see here nano banana lets you turn a simple photo into a 3d image and as you can see on this image it's actually working perfectly someone took a picture of their home and the AI basically turned the entire home into a 3d figure and this is especially attractive for architects or even for editors who either create content or 3d models so the app idea for this would be take a picture of anything and turn it into a 3d model in seconds and building an app with this nano banana model is stupidly simple just go to ai.google.dev slash gemini dash api slash docs slash quick start and then all you need to do is just to install the Google Gen AI SDK. So just choose JavaScript right here and then just copy this command npm install at Google slash Gen AI and run this in the terminal in your codebase. And then you just need to simply implement this API call and that's all you need to do for it to work. So you just saw four app ideas with Nano Banana that could make serious money. But here's the thing, knowing what to build and how to make money from it is two completely different problems. So 
in this video right here, I show you exactly how I built an AI app completely from scratch. And you can use this nano banana model that I just covered in this video to stay ahead of everyone else.